In this video, we will learn about interactive mode and script mode in Python. When and where to use both of the modes. So let's start with this. You can download Python from website, Python website. It's authentic website because it's open source, so it is free to download. Now, when you open Python, as I just have opened, you come to know that this is Python shell or this is the interactive mode. Now, interactive mode is used when you have only a single command. It is useful when you have to execute a single command. Suppose I want to uh, print my name. So, I can just write my name within the double quotes because it is the text. So, the text is always in the double quotes. And then I press enter. So, simply I am printing my name. So, that is a single command which is I am which I am executing in the interactive mode. Now, if I want to find the sum of two numbers, again only it is a single command where I am finding the sum of two numbers. So, it is useful to do it in interactive mode. But suppose if I have to find the sum difference uh, product and division of two numbers then interactive mode is not useful why suppose let me take two numbers a4 b2 and then if i want to print the name uh, sum i have to write this then if i want to find the difference and want to print it then again i have to write this as well again you know uh, each statement I am separating with the help of the semicolon, right? You can see that there I am separating each statement by a semicolon. So there are four statements right now. First statement is a equals to four. So the value of a is going to be four. B equals to two. So third statement is print a plus b, which is the sum of these two numbers, and the fourth statement is a minus b print a minus b so i have written four statements and then i can find the sum and the difference but it is not readable and understandable for a user so it is better so it is difficult for the user to understand and it's not readable as per the programming ethics so interactive mode is useful when you have only single command to execute just like i have to print the name or to find the sum of two numbers something like this but when you have more than two statements, one more than one statement, it is better to use the script mode. Now let's see what is script mode. For script mode, you have to go to file new. And then you can declare the variables over here as I declared over there. Then I can find the sum. the sign and after this you have to save this file now save your file in a particular folder i have made the video how to organize your files and folders in the system so it's better to create a folder and save all the files over there with a meaningful name so that you can recognize it later on and then save it After you need to run for running you can either press the shortcut key f5 or you can go to the run menu and click on run module so this is how it will print the sum the difference the product and the division as per your program so when you have more than one command to execute it is better to use the script mode and if you have a single command to execute it is better to use the interactive mode now if suppose if i am just want to print my name and if i write that over here print and then punam rathor it is not useful it will take a lot of time first you will create a file then you will write your command then you have to save and then you have to run so there is no use to 
you know execute a single command in the script mode it is better to use the interactive mode i think the difference is clear to you in the next video we will see what is the difference between a variable and constant till then uh, you can watch other videos of python which i have made i will give you the link of those in the description if else i have uh, explained if elif else statement is explained and how to input two numbers from the user how to take input from the user and do call arithmetic operations on them so all the videos are there i will give you the link of all of them and then uh, secondly i will also give you the link of how to save and organize your files in your system so all you will find this in the description box if you have some uh, problem if you have some uh, facing some issues with the program you can write in the comment section and let me know for which particular tutorial you want the videos okay till then keep sharing keep learning and subscribe my channel thank you